after two plus years of prep, two massive step exams later, a 90th percentile uh, score and above in my USMLE step two, multiple study resources, and hundreds of episodes of this podcast later, I bring to you my detailed guide of this amazingly high yield and free resource called the Divine Intervention Podcast. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rashi. I am a doctor from India and I am currently on my USMLE journey to apply to my dream residency of internal medicine in the United States. Today, I'm going to talk about how exactly I used Divine Intervention Podcast, what episodes I found the most high yield, how exactly I use them to revise. I am going to break it down into different steps or different levels so that uh, you can integrate it into your prep depending upon where you are in your prep and how much time you can allocate to this. So let's get started. If you're starting from scratch, you are just in the beginning of your prep, then I'd recommend starting with shelf episodes. Now, these are like two hour long episodes for major subjects like medicine and surgery. When you're just starting your world or you're about to start your world, how these episodes are going to help you is they'll give you a very broad idea of many different topics that are t tested in your world and give you a nice base that you can then build over as you're doing your world questions. Another thing that I did is I downloaded the slides from his website uh, and annotated them as Divine was reading, reading through these questions. And I also highlighted the things that I didn't know. I didn't make any separate notes and it really helped me revise topics that I was weaker at uh, without going through the whole episode, like the podcast episode again and again. It also helped me because these episodes are pretty long and I have the attention span of a five-year-old. So yeah. <laughs> if you are already in the middle of your prep and scoring decent on your U world, then you can probably skip these or just do episodes for topics that you you are weaker in or you're getting wrong on your UL blogs. What I recommend doing in this phase and what I did in this phase is I would keep a goal of listening to one or two episodes uh, per day and I was majorly concentrating on my UL blogs, solving them and reviewing them. And when I was like utterly bored and so saturated, but I still felt guilty about taking a break and wanting to study, that's when I would do my divine intervention episodes. They are, they are like 15 or 20 minutes long. So one or two episodes would be like 20 minutes or 30 or 40 minutes. And that's not too much. Uh, I'm going to give a list of episodes that I listened to. And these are the ones that I really, really liked. And yeah, screenshot incoming in three, two, one. How I went about exactly studying these is I would listen to them, I did not take any notes and I would improvise on what episodes I was listening to based on my UWorld and Correct. And that is something that I would definitely recommend doing. This list isn't concrete, so feel free to custom and tailor it according to, uh, to your preferences. Coming to the next section, if you are in the last lap of your prep, if you are in your dedicated period and you want to use Divine to revise, then this is how I did it and I think it made the world of a difference and I I am pretty sure I got like a 20 point increase in my score only because I did this in my dedicated period. So I listened to these topics which are fairly memory heavy and high yield topics that are frequently tested on the exams and topics that I wanted to be very fresh in my memory. Uh, towards the end of my preparation and I'm just going to give you a list of topics that I think are extremely extremely important in three two one take a screenshot and I really hope that this screenshot is something that you'll save and use as a reference in your dedicated period because I've listened to this more than once okay once is an understatement i think more than five times how exactly i went about studying these episodes is a little bit different from my pre-dedicated period strategy i listened to these once because i wanted to hear divine talk about them and i feel that just gave me a better understanding of these topics 
then i downloaded pdfs of these uh, like written episode notes from his website and i would just revise them over and over again i would put it in my ipad and annotate them i i color coded them uh mark the topics that i didn't know and then revise them over and over and over again in my last week my goal was to go over each of these topics at least once uh, at least once okay and i am pretty sure i did it more than once especially for stuff like vaccines and screening guidelines so yeah that is how i used divine intervention podcast to get a score above 90th percentile in my usmle step 2 if you're looking for a more detailed guide on other resources that i used i'll link the video the detailed video of my step 2 guide in the description so you can check it out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye